Well, welcome back. 2000 Ford Focus. Doing an alternator in it. Also going to do a uh, motor mount. The upper motor mount on the passenger side. It's uh, completely apart here. It's uh, come apart and it's definitely no good. So we're going to do a motor mount on this as well. Normally we would have to do this, but... Motor mount's getting done as well. Clip it, just kind of twist it out of my way. So, there's what's left of the motor mount. Top half of it, cover's gone, totally destroyed. I'll prop the engine up, block the engine up because I have to do them to do this motor mount and get it out of my way to make it a lot easier to get that belt. So, I might as well just do that now. Let me get a, a, a jack and a block of wood. I have a flat jack here, which will work fine, but. If you don't, block the wood under the engine. All right, so I've got the engine blocked up. Just a little. Uh, obviously, I've removed that out of the way. 15 millimeter, I think. Let's pull them off. Let's get them out of there. 15 and maybe 18. Engine is blocked up. If you didn't get it. Okay. Engine is blocked up on this one. Now 15. The three mounts, three bolts that mount to the wheel well and the frame. Uh, really, wheel well. this loose. Alright, so come on don't 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 be moving all over the place on me. Let me pick this up just a little more. Come on. There we go. There we go. Really? You gotta give me grief like that? You don't wanna come out of there, huh? I'm gonna move my power steering pump too. Uh, I believe, I believe it's just clipped in. Yeah, I this. Okay, pull that out of the way. Alright, there it is. So, Showed that before. It's a hydraulic. Look at it. Just destroyed. No good. Uh, new motor mounts in. That's not it. That's the old one. That should be sealed. 
not much left of it with full hydraulic flow drain it we have to pull this bolt off the bottom and reuse this bracket so I'm gonna go pull it off of here and reattach the new one which looks like looks like that all right got the new mount goes like this may have to wiggle and move the engine around a little bit here to get it situated A little bit. Shouldn't be that far though. Let's get everything started. Uh, 35 foot pounds or so for these three. The bolt to the wheel well and frame. Uh, 60. These, this, I have to pick this engine up more than a little. Um, 65, 60, 65 for the uh, bolts to the engine. That's coming up. It's good to get another inch or so to come up so the jack muscle settle a little bit. I still have it loose because I want to be able to move it easily. I still got a gap in here of probably half an inch. It's got to come up. Maybe that far close to it. I don't want to try to pull it down to it. Still got, still got a little bit. A little bit. Okay, so. Ah, there we go. Settled in. Did move a little bit on me too. I'll try to get it centered up here. I'll get my, uh, you're probably looking at the back of my head. But what I'll do is get this one centered up, which it's centered up now, so. This doesn't take a lot. It's only 30, 35 foot-pounds, so. It's my smaller gun, but it still do that easy. Let me get an extension. Get these bottom two. Some more light. All right. All right, so I've got them all snugged up. Let me take my jack out of there. Actually, let me tighten these. I'll make sure these are tight all the way down. Okay. Now I'll take my jack out. I'll just come back and make sure those are still snugged up. Did snug up a little bit. Don't go nuts on these. They're supposed to be about 35 pounds, so don't go crazy. All right, let's put power steering reservoir back. A silicone spot. All Here, put our 10 millimeter screw back in. That's it. That is it. Pretty easy mount to do, actually. Well, that's it for the 2000 Ford Focus single overhead cam motor mount. Um, here's the old one. Not much left of it. It's a hydraulic. This is a hydraulic. The top of it was completely apart, basically. No good. Uh, new one's in there. Pretty, pretty simple job. Really, just 
20 minutes if you're not filming probably to do it um, but if you need to do this for your vehicle uh, I hope it helps you out if you like the video subscribe below thanks for watching